Hey everybody, welcome to your weekly update. I'm Matt DeWolf and friends, this is the update for you. If you wanna make sure that you are staying up to date on what's going on in the car wash space, uh, but maybe you don't have more than maybe a couple of minutes. So hang in there with me. We're gonna give you three things in four minutes or less. Uh, I promise, here we go. Okay, so first things first, uh, if you all are gonna be at the Southwest uh, Convention and Expo at the end of this month here, February 28th through March 1st, come see us. I'm going to be there. Uh, I'm looking forward to connecting with all my car wash friends. Uh, and we're going to be talking about training, uh, specifically our lead manager training program in booth 823. Got it? 823. Come see us. Come say hi. Uh, let's chat and uh, see what's going on in your world. All right. That's one thing. Come see us. Um, number two. Number two. Uh, number two, uh, we've got Car Wash the Podcast coming back with its next season for you this week. We're going to drop our first episode. Uh, I know you've missed it. Don't worry. We're back. Uh, it's going to be a really fantastic conversation with the folks at Quick Dry, uh, Jonathan and Lindsay Wiles. Um, a really, really inspirational story about making a difference in their community uh, and in communities across uh, the United States, really. So check that out wherever you're getting your uh, podcast content. And then the last thing I've got for you all this week is really centered around uh, kind of going off of that podcast episode, going off of community impact and the chance we have in this industry to make giant impact in our communities where we serve. So uh, here are a few really interesting um, examples of when folks have made a difference. This is clickbait, friends. I'm sorry. It's Travis Kelsey, everybody, from the Kansas City Chiefs. Uh, as you may or may not know, he is a... Um, investor in club car wash has been since 2021 but one of the things they did was a pretty cool uh, kelsey car jam uh, where they raised more than forty two thousand uh, dollars for their community there made a big impact continues to make a big impact that's all part of a broader story in car wash magazine where we feature several different cases where car wash organizations are having a tremendous impact so we've got uh, stories from crew from tommy's from take five I know, friends, that you are doing big things too, so make sure you let us know about those. Uh, go to carwash.org slash community, submit the great things that you are doing uh, so we can highlight them and showcase uh, just how much of an impact this industry can have in the communities that it's serving. Now, I'm going to give you one more item because I still have a minute or two here. Uh, friends, there is a rather large uh, sporting event taking place this weekend. I don't know if you're a football fan or if you're into sports. Uh, but you're probably aware of this this game. And, uh, you know, as a lifelong fan of this particular team, I'm going to have to say that I am uh, I'm supporting Chiefs Kingdom on this one, friends. Uh, this is uh, for all the Swifties out there. Uh, we love you. Uh, Kansas City, let's go get them. I just got to say one thing to you all. Uh, how about <laughs> those Chiefs? Friends, when you're out there and you are just killing it washing cars, there's really only one thing you've got to do, and that is keep it clean. 